it's the day before the game um, today, Friday morning, about nine o'clock. Um, before work, I've come in to see Chris, our physio, to get a bit of a rub down, um, to, to to loosen up my back, and just to try and um, get my muscles a bit feeling a little bit a bit more fresh and um, ready for the game tomorrow. What we're trying to do, we're trying to relax Claudia's hamstring off at the moment. She's obviously got very tight hamstring on both sides as well as her glute. So we're trying to get into the tissue a little bit and we're trying to help her relax off. Uh, what this will do, this will help her tissue uh, actually recover quicker. It will remove lactic acid. It will help the fibres also as they're recovering because she had a hard training session last night. Also realign and hopefully she'll feel a little bit easier afterwards. So I'll just talk to you about uh, some of the things that I eat the day before a game. Um, obviously what you eat, your nutrition is really important. Um, to be honest, what I eat the day before the game is, is pretty much what I eat on a normal day anyway. I mean, I think um, it's important every day of the week. You've got to prepare right for training and get into good habits throughout the whole week, not just the day before. Um, it's too late then. So I, eat, I, I do eat pretty healthy like every day really, to be honest. Um, now at the moment I've got, I'm going to have some chicken breast, some sweet potatoes, and those are the vegetables, some mushrooms, spinach, olives, peppers, and, uh, onion, courgette, different things like that. So lots of protein um, with the chicken, carbohydrates with the sweet potato, and then lots of different nutrients um, with the, the vegetables. Because it's the night before the game, I just, um, just like to chill out and relax, um, and uh, just having some dessert, some fruit and yogurt and nuts, and of course plenty of cups of tea. I like to have a good stretch um, and a foam roll um, on the morning of the game. Um, just, it's not great to do a lot of static, static stretching just before the kickoff because it makes you less powerful, makes you less explosive, but for me I like to have a good stretch in the morning or kind of lunchtime of the game just to make me feel, you know, as, as sort of flexible and as loose and as ready to go as possible.